Hello guys! It's Anna Filingera. In this uh, video, I will going to share to you on uh, what uh, software I am using when uh, editing uh, PDF. Are you familiar with uh, PDF Escape? So I am using a PDF Escape and this is uh, free. And also this uh, in this video, you will uh, learn how to use it. Guys, we will going to open the PDF Escape, open Google Chrome, then type uh, PDF uh, Escape. Let's uh, click this one, guys, www.pdfescape.com. So here, guys, so hindi tayo, guys, we are not going to log in or sign up. We will going to use the... Uh, the uh, free because uh, I don't want to pay the I don't want to pay the for the software so I will going to use the free so we'll click the uh, choose a file so let's click it So we are here now. We open already the file. So guys, if you can see on the upper uh, upper part, so there are uh, folders. This one upload. If you want to upload, uh, okay, guys, we'll try it. We're going to upload a, a file. So just click the upload and then click the choose a file. So, just open it. So, that's it guys. Uh, we upload the uh, file. And then, this one, load the URL. So, if your uh, file has a uh, URL and you want to open it in PDF, so you will click that. Because our file is uh, no YouTube. RL, so we will not going to use that one. So the recent, this uh, is a place so where your recent uh, file or work that you done. So you can see it here in a recent uh, folder. And guys, uh, because we are using uh, free only, it only accommodate 10 uh, PDF. So if you are uh, uh, if you uh, if you meet the uh, ten uh, PDF already, you cannot uh, upload anymore. So it's uh, my advice to you guys: just uh, delete the uh, done uh, work already, and uh, then so that you can upload another file. So in share naman guys, this share, you can share the PDF but you need to sign in to this uh, application. So because we are using free, we can't uh, use this one. This is not applicable to us. And then here guys, if you can see, there is a insert. So just click the more. So this insert... Uh, just uh, if you want to put a text or if you want to put an information for this bio, bio data, so just click the text. Then, uh, punta tayo doon sa name. Then, just uh, type it. So that's the text. So and uh, if we want to, uh, we do not want to use that uh, anymore. Just uh, click it again, and then next is the image. If we want to insert an image to our uh, documents here in Value Data, if we want to insert a picture, but as of now I don't have a picture, we can use it. But make sure that the format is supported with BMP. GIF, JPG, JPEG, and PNG. 
just uh, click the choose file and then uh, click upload or another shortcut is just a uh, drop file here so that's the image then next is the link we want to insert a link just click it here just click the link and then uh, type the link uh, type the link that we are going to insert in uh, the uh, documents then line we want to put a line just click it and then just uh, draw a line so just insert the lines uh, that's uh, that's it guys and then uh, rectangle we want to put a rectangle in our documents just uh, put it here okay then we want a check mark so just uh, click the che check mark then put the uh, put it or place it in the documents that we want to put the check mark then white out the white out is the erasure so if we want to erase something for example, I want to erase this text. I will going to just uh, put it here. So guys, so that's it. The text already erased. Then freehand, want to use it. Uh, for example, we want to draw uh, or we want to insert a signature in our documents. You can use it. You can, uh, we can use that freehand. It uh, serve as the uh, ball pen or pencil. Then uh, just uh, place the cursor on the uh, uh, on the part that on the part of the documents that we are going to put our signature. So we'll try it here. So. That's it. For, that's uh, for an uh, example. And then the form field. We want to use that form field just uh, if we want to put the checkbox or text paragraph. We can uh, um, select it. We want the radio, drop down this box, present a button, submit button. So we will try the submit button. So then select it then we will put it here so here the submit button so so and then next nothing i arrow we want to insert arrow just uh, place the cursor on the portion that we were going to insert the arrow so we're going to insert it here Okay, and then the circle, we want to, okay, sorry, uh, okay, wait, wait, the arrow, hindi na nakita, so the arrow is missing, so let's pick the arrow here, okay, and then if we want going to insert the circle, just replace the cursor, yeah, okay, so that's the insert. So we're going to go to annotate. In annotate, uh, there's a sticky note. So let's uh, put, just place the cursor on the place that we are going to put the sticky note. So just put it here, uh, experience. Uh, Then, uh, after sticky note, we can insert text also. Okay, so let's delete the uh, another one. 
Then the underline. We want the underline. So let's try it here. Let's put it here. Okay. Then we'll can, we can change the color in the upper part. So we can change the color if we want. Then oval. We want oval if just uh, draw it. Okay. And then highlights. We want to emphasize the that uh, word. So let's uh, place the cursor on the word that we are going to emphasize. So we will emphasize the declaration. And then strike out. So uh, okay, guys. I will going to put a word here for. So balik natin. Let's put a word here. So that we can see the striker. Guys, you can ano, uh, you can change also the font if you want here in the upper and then the font size. And then if you want to bold it or underline or anything if you want guys. So guys, let's uh, back to annotate. So here they strike out. Let's try it in here. In my name, so that's the strike strike out. So yeah, then the rectangular. You want a rectangular? Just uh, put it, and then next natin is the page. So move. So we don't have uh, another page so we can uh, move the page we are going to add another page for this uh, page we will going to use the append so append we will going to click the append are you sure you want to save this document and choose a file to append yes so then we will going to choose file Or you, we can also drop a uh, file uh, for a shortcut. We can only also drop it there. And then, so okay guys, if you can see, there are two pages. So append is a meaning, is a additional uh, pages if we want to add additional pages. Then guys, so because uh, we will try the move, so let's click the move. Then we will going to move the page two to page one. So just uh, click uh, the page number on uh, where we are going to place the uh, uh, selected uh, page, and then click select. So as you can see, guys, the page two, which is the blank, become the page one while the uh, page one uh, before become the page two so that's the uh, purpose of move so we will try we will go back to the original page so just select it here it is and then rotate left if we want to rotate it just uh, click it and then rotate right just click it okay then uh, this queue this this queue is uh, one to click and uh, click and drag on page to this queue strengthen so it all will try it to this queue so let's try this one Okay, guys, as you can see, that's the purpose of this queue. And then delete. How about the delete? We want to remove the second page because uh, we are uh, not using it. So let's uh, click delete. And then crop. We want to get the information or we don't we want to resize the uh, the uh, documents that we are editing so we'll click the crop and then let's uh, place the cursor 
or we will going to corrupt it then click ok and then if we want to restore or we want to back all the uh, pages or all the files that uh, we uh, made uh, earlier we just click the restore all then click yes okay guys so that's the restore and then we're going to and then the uh, other side so this one view page uh, thumbnail so ganyan ang style niya tsura niya and then the other one is if there is a work bookmark then uh, this one is save you are going to save the uh, documents if you're going to save the documents just uh, the save one you will going to the recent but if you want to save it and download it you will see the uh, documents on your download uh, folder in this uh, computer the download folder of your computer so and then the other one is one if you want to print the documents and hide the form field if you want if you want to hide the form field or link highlights you can click this one and then so because we want to download it so we will save it and download the file so guys that's the uh, pdf escape and uh, that's their uses and the uh, purpose so let's open it yes this is what me what we made uh, in pdf escape so that's all guys so if you can see there's a the uh, sticky note then the text one you can see so that's all guys so now you learn how to use the uh, PDF escape and uh, aside from uh, easy to use it's also free so guys uh, thank you so much uh, for watching for another uh, tutorial video and uh, please don't forget uh, to like share comment and uh, subscribe to my uh, youtube channel for more uh, tutorial videos and also click the notification bell thank you so much for watching bye